Number 63. Thallium was used as a poison in the Agatha Christie mystery story, The Pale Horse. Thallium has two possible cationic forms, a plus one and a plus three. The plus one compounds are the more stable. Write the electron structure of the plus one cation of thallium. Okay, first things first, if you haven't read the Agatha Christie book, The Pale Horse, highly recommend it. It's a great book. That's just my little input there. But I know you guys have probably, you know, not a lot of free time. You guys are studying. So that, that could hold off for now. Now let's get to the question. <laughs> okay, so they want you to write the electron structure. Same thing as just saying the electron configuration, which we've done tons of problems in this, in this chapter already. So if you haven't done that, go back to the more in-depth electron configuration questions and then come back to this one because this one will kind of be like a, you know, a quick run through. And now we just have to find the electron configuration of thallium and only the plus one they wanted us to find. Okay, easy enough. How do we find an electron configuration for cations, right? Or just ions in general? Well, two steps. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to pretend that the ion, or the cation in this case, the positive, doesn't exist. So you're going to write the electron configuration, the EC, for the atom. Disregard the charge. The second step is then you're going to adjust for the charge. Then you're going to either add electrons or take away electrons depending on what the charge is. So right now I'm going to put TL, because that's thallium, plus one, but I'm going to write it as if there was no charge. So first things first, thallium is number 81 on the periodic table. It's all the way down there. So we got a long way to go for writing this electronic structure, right? Now, another thing is we should know the groupings of the S, P's, and D subshells, right? Here are where your electrons are in your S subshells. Here are where your electrons are for your Ds. Here is your electrons for the Ps. And here is your electrons for where the F subshells are. And another thing is that Remember, the S's start with 1, so this would be 1S, 2S, etc., etc. I'm just putting 1S up here. This would be the 2P. P start with 2, so 2P, 3P, 4P, etc., etc. The D's start with 3, so 3D, 4D, 5D. And then the F's start with 4, so 4F and 5F. Okay, so remember, you got to start with atomic number 1, and go all the way, in this case, to 81, to where thallium is. Long way, but we can do it, right? And remember, for electron configuration or electron structure, helium should be in the S subshell grouping. You can forget about helium being on the right-hand side. It's just easier if you put helium next to hydrogen, because it is really part of the S subshell. All right, so we start with 1S. And you know what? I think I'm going to just drop it down here because I'm probably going to need all the room that I can get. So 1s. And now how many boxes do we have to pass? Well, we have to pass both hydrogen and helium. Helium is number two. So that would be 1s2. Now we're over here. Oh, actually, no, we're not. Now we're over here, right? Number three. Atomic number three. And that's the 2s. So this would be 2s2. You got to pass both boxes. Then we're at number five. That's part of the 2p. So I have to pass all of them. So that's a total of six electrons. Now we're at number 11 over here. That's the 3s. And we got to pass both boxes. So that's 3s2. Then we're at number 13. So that's the 3p, right? That's all of this. So that's 3p six. Now we drop down to over here, number 19. So that's 4s. Got to pass both boxes, so two. Then we move on to the d's, finally. And I got to go all the way this way, so that's 3d10. Now I'm over at number 31. I got to pass all the way over here, because I still need to get down to number 81. So that's 4p6. 
Now I'm down to here, number 37. That's a, I'm gonna drop down over here. That's 5s2. Now I'm here. That's a 4d. Gotta pass all the boxes, so 4d10. Number 49 going all through here. So that's a 5p6. And now this is where it gets a little tricky. So we're now down to here. This is 6s. So 6s2. But now look, it says 56, which is the end of s2. And then it says 57 through 71 come all the way down here. Oh, this is how I get to the four F's. Once I hit this, I drop down to the F's. Now, just know this is very tricky. Um, this box right here is still LA. You see how they put LA over here? I don't know why they do that. Um, but LA is technically part of the D's. This is where your F's start. So from here all the way to here, if you count those boxes, that's 14. And there's 14 total electrons in an F subshell. So don't think that it's 15 because it's, you know, they included LA, which they shouldn't have. LA is still part of the Ds, but I guess they just wanted to show you that progression. So if I started here, it would be 4F, and now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so I gotta pass all those, so 4F14. Now I come back up here and I have to go back to the Ds. So that's how it gets a little tricky. So this would be um, 5D10 because I still have to pass all of this, 10 slots. And now I'm finally at, what is this? Two, three, four, five, six P. And that is number one. Okay. That's without, you know, taking into consideration the charges because thallium's right here. This is 6P and it was the first box. So that's why it's 6P1. Now we have to take into consideration this plus one charge. What does this plus one charge tell us? This tells us that we lost one electron. And how do we lose electrons? You always lose electrons from the highest n number, the highest uh, shell. Remember, n is just a quantum number for shell, which is the biggest coefficient. So if I scan these, what's the biggest coefficient, the biggest shell number in thallium? Well, I have fives, but oh, okay, I have a six here, and there's two sixes. That would be the biggest quantum shell, n equals six. But now, which one am I going to take from? Am I going to take from the s's, or am I going to take from the p's? You always take from the highest shell, but then you always work your way from back to front. So basically, what you wrote last is what you will take away. So in this case, I will take away the 6p1. I had one electron here, and I need to lose one electron, so just the entire 6p will get lost. That's it. So in this case, if I could just erase this, that would be the final answer, right? And I'll get rid of this too. So just by erasing 6p1, losing that one electron, this whole answer now, this electronic structure, if I box this off, that would be the electron structure or the electron configuration of thallium Tl plus one. And that's it. That answers the question. Check this off. So easy peasy, right? The tricky part was just you had to go into the Fs. But some professors or some teachers don't even have those questions on the test, but they might. Let me know in the comments if you are one of those lucky ones that your teacher makes you go into the F subshell. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Thank you for coming here to get help with your OpenStax textbook. Um, if you have any classmates who might benefit from this channel, give them the channel. Thank you for that. And if you know any friends that are taking the physics textbook, my brother is currently doing that right now. So we're doing chemistry. I'm doing the chemistry. My brother Andrew is doing the physics. So we're trying to help everybody that we can. 
Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys all in the next question. Have an awesome day.